Alright, bringing you another game. It is a 2v2 on the Classic Arabia map. Over here in yellow we have Lix who is playing as the Mayans. Down over here we have Jordan and Regan who are playing together as the Aztecs. Up over here we have the Viper playing in red, playing as the Mayans. And over here we have CSC Bieber who is in green, also playing as the Aztecs. It's quite a good game if I do say so. Uh, lots going on in it. And the, the big pushes in it and really how the allies work together is pretty much why I want to show this game. I'm always into team games, team games being extremely good. And it shows just how well we can communicate and how well we can play together. So we'll turn Fog of War and have a look. So over here, just standard build up, you've got your two houses there, all on sheep. And about to bring up a lumber camp by the looks of it. And a lumber camp coming up there, that's not too far away, not too bad, that's a pretty good position honestly. So scouting out, we'll have a look, see what's going on. Deer patch over here, bore on that hill over there. That hill won't be a bad place to hold if he gets attacked. Gold is, it's not too far up, but it's pretty open. Uh, second bore over here, and another golden stone pile back here. Base is pretty open, but it's definitely able to wall off. Like if you just whacked a wall in across there, building wall across there, bit of palisade across there, probably stone wall across there. Honestly, would probably be the best way to go. Protect those resources up. So we'll go have a look and see what else other people are doing. CC Viva over here, already got his lumber camp up on 14 population. Got both his bore in already, as you can see. Of course, the faster you get your bore in, the faster you can get those resources in. As you can see, just pumping out villages and putting up his mill, so he's now able to advance. Jump over to the Viper over here. Putting up his mill now, so he'll be able to advance quite soon too. Um, looks like he's only on his first bore at the moment. Can't really see the other one around. So he might. Ah, oh, there it is, so it's already been lured. So, yes, that's the second boar there, so mill. So, 18 population, so we'll probably be looking to advance between 22 and 25 villages, as per usual. And the barracks coming up there, so obviously going for some Dark Age tactics, as you can see by the fact they're already mining gold. So, that'll give him just enough for a few extra militia. So, we'll come down over to Riga now down over here and he's already pushed in here and can see that Lix over here is pushing up with these militia already so he has a very early force out. However, Regan is able to combat that by having three militia out already and having his eagle warrior as well so he will be able to take on this villager here and he should be able to fight off these militia here as well. Let's see what happens. So just pushing in there, pushing in through the gold. Of course Mayans and Aztecs being very gold reliant and armies Another militia there coming in. Just patrolling this area here and coming up to the lumber camp. As you can see, trying to get some damage out there. Nearly lost that villager there, that was very close. And I'll refresh the scores because they didn't seem to be doing anything. Alright, here we go. Lix is outnumbered. However, that Eagle Warrior will stand up to quite a bit. Here we go, coming back now. There you go. Regan now going into Feudal Age, so he will be able to upgrade to Man at Arms. However, Leeks is just beating him there now, so he'll be able to get the Man at Arms upgrade faster. Here we go, and nearly had it there, but using his villages to attack there, which is basically what Regan wants. If he gets his villages to attack Regan's scouts, they are not collecting gold. When they're not collecting gold, it is harassment. If they are not doing it, it's harassment. So here we can see forward base coming up now, as you can see. Barracks is already up here, and he's attempted a wall off there quite well. Uh, over here as well, so we've moved into the steer patch, because we know that going from wild animals is definitely faster. So forward base coming up here, and men at arms upgrade has been done. So he will be able to get out some very powerful units. Upgrading Fletching now to give that skirmisher archer mix just that little bit more. Of course, playing as Aztecs there. So, Watchtower coming up here, and their infantry does get very strong, so upgrading to Man-at-Arms is a necessity at this point. Here we can see, again, using more of these villages here to build this tower here, so that is forcing them off this gold mine. As you can see, all doing damage here. And starting to attack the base of this tower, which means they're not gathering resources, so this is quite a successful attack. Turn off the fog of war there, and we'll come have a look up here. And you can see up here that these two have basically been pushing each other from each side of the map. Basically, just a few, few men at arms each, and just pushing each other back and forth. No one wanting to really lose anything at this point in time. However, Regan over here has lost this tower, so that's a hundred stone gone there. So 
So you can see Mike growing up on these skirmishes. So you can see here, not much else going on. Keeping that tower there garrison, so that means his villages are not working. As you can see on the stone over here already, so he is prepared to put up more towers and get a castle up very quickly. Being man, getting that castle up quickly is very important, as then you will be able to get out those plumed arches. And plumed arches is what you want. You want to base most of your army around them, honestly. So this side of the map here, just going to castle now. As we can see, these archers moving around here, trying to find a back way into the Viper's base. And Bebo over here, holding this position here, not doing too badly. However, I did want to focus on this area here for the start of the match, because as you can see, there is a lot of aggression here between Lynx and Regan. So we can see here, just taking out this piece of wall ever so slowly, as which archers are, and just few large units are. So as you can see down here, chasing him back across the map here. I've already bringing more units in down to here to hopefully pick off as many villages as you can. If you can harass this gold mine enough, Viper being mains, it will pretty much destroy his army count. Well, it'll destroy his army count of useful units, really. Of course, he'll still be able to get out the pikemen and the hussars, not hussars being mains. But without that, he won't. Without the gold, he will not be able to create eagle warriors. Eagle warriors being pretty much the reason people play as Aztecs or mains. So coming back over here, we can see that Yellow has completely fended off Regan's early attack there. Done it quite well too, as you can see, and is going for a counter-offensive now, as you can see here. Doing lots of damage down here to the skirmisher group. And forcing him to back off, really. Regan now going into the castle age, so he's about, oh, it's about a quarter of the way there. And as we can see up here, Bebit has is pushing in around this area here, so he is... Sealing off this bit of wood here, because he knows that the Viper's going to run out of wood there eventually. And he'll have to push up to here, so if he can be here when that happens, it'll be good. And the other thing you can do is just push into his base and try and knock out as many of these villages as possible. So as we can see now, Lix coming up here to gang up on the Viper. And a tower going up there. Pretty perfect position, honestly. No archers will be able to sit on this side here, as you can see. They'll be able to garrison it if anything comes by, and he's already stonewalled up there, so it's pretty pretty smart play, because we'll be able to use this gold mine here, this stone mine here, and nothing else will be able to happen. As you can see, mains, mains are the viper coming in through here. They're both just trying to get as much harassment in as possible. See down here. However, at this point in time, Beaver has managed to get into the viper's base, and he's been killing off his units for quite some time now. As you can see, some very good micro there, microing these crossbows to take out all of his opponent's crossbows without losing too many, as you can see in the difference in bodies there. So basically, they're just trying to keep Lynx down at the moment, just pushing him down scores. However, more crossbows coming out of Beaver's base right now. And Beaver is up from the Viper about 300 points, and the Viper's being the highest scorer on the opposition team. So over here, you can see if they could get in close enough, they might be able to get away with it. Like that. And he's microing this unit over here, so this watchtower here will continue firing at it, even though it's not currently hitting it. As you can see, so he can do some damage to this one here. Very smart play though. However, you will have to move and he's running away now as he's lost that. So more crossbows coming in here now. Uh, over here, the Viper definitely wanting to get out a Manganel. There we go, to counter all these archers over here, which are doing large amounts of damage to his economy. And as you can see, economy is quite well done. Uh, not exactly booming, but Good economy, nonetheless. There's lots of villages around here for here. And if we come up to Beaver over here, he has boomed his economy quite well. He's spread out well, lots of town centers up, as you can see. Over here, Lix, of course, being pushed back quite a bit, only having the one town center, I believe. After building all his watchtowers up, he hasn't really had a chance to build another one. So as we can see, more archers coming in here to the Viper's base, doing more harassment. Might go from Bieber right now. Bieber having lots of gold there available, lots and lots of units available for him to build. Only at 87 population as well. And in Castle so he will be able to go for a Eagle, wash, Eagle Rush if he wants to. So, not much else going on. And bringing out a Scorpion there. Scorpions, of course, being very, very effective versus massed infantry and archers. Definitely use them if your opponent is Goss. Goss, they will rip apart. Same with Siege Onigas. That's probably their best chance. As we can see, Lix coming down here to hopefully harass this mine here. However, Regan is prepared for this and does have these units here, so he is able to pick these off rather quickly. As you can see. 
playing very well right there and picking off all but two before over Helix is actually able to get an attack out. So very well played there. As we can see now, Bieber is pushing up here, building a siege workshop. So he's probably going to want to get some rams out so he can destroy any of these castles that the Viper manages to push up so he is not able to produce those plumed archers. Let's start over here now. Lix's main priority now should be to get a ram out and try and destroy off this forward base here. And as you can see now, that has been a waste for quite a lot of wood of Regan's, Regan's economy right there. Building forward bases are good, but if they become useless, never let them do nothing. Because that is wood that is just gone out of your economy and doing nothing, as you can see. He's, he's, get, he's gaining nothing from it, so there's been no, po no point in it. So, Siege Workshop there, building up houses, keeping these forward villages busy. As you can see, they're just all patrolling the map at this stage. Another Siege Workshop coming up there, and CSC Bieber going to the Apura right now, so he will be able to get out Siege Rams. Let's see if we can find one over here. Any Siege Workshops? I'm probably looking right at one, but... Ah, well. Can't see one in particular. So as you can see here, a lot of Eagle Warriors coming out there. We'll be able to get his special tech soon, which will give them plus four attack, which will make them very deadly, and there we go, it's just upgraded them to Elite as well. So creating battering rams there, another siege workshop coming up there. Regan down here now going into the Imperial Age as well. He's going to have to be teched up basically to fight off his opponents at this stage. As you can see, Bieber is up by a thousand points on the Viper there. So just creating many, many battering rams there. As you can see down here, Bebit has pushed in here with his Eagle Warriors. And of course Eagle Warriors having that 4 plus 4 defense bonus if you upgrade it all the way. So basically they will run circles around archers and then kill them without pretty much losing the unit. They're pretty amazing. Pretty amazing units also. So these plumed archers here are pretty much doomed up against these guys. Unless he's ridiculous at micro, as you can see, plumed archers are quite quickly, so you can micro them quite well. So over here now, having to get a lot of defense out there, as you can see over here. Hasn't really done much so far, but has managed to get his economy quite high, so he's able to get a lot of units out very quickly. So as we can see, two, four, jeez, fair few battering items there actually. Look at that. So he's got seven rams there, which he's going to be able to use. And the Viper standing right here next to this town center, so able to kill off this villager here. Should be able to get away with it. And Plume Darch is coming in now, so those villagers are gone. Uh, whether or not... Yeah, he's just noticed and he was continuing to build. Alright, so over here we have seen Bieber run in with a bunch of Eagle Warriors, knock out the town center, kill off lots of his farmers there. Uh, all of his gold miners up here. And just doing damage over here in large amounts of number. So over here you can see that Lix is now coming out here and is going to want to push into Reagan's base and doing that will severely cripple his economy. So the Viper going Imperial now so we'll be able to upgrade to Elite Plume Darches, of course being better than the normal Plume Darches. And trying to get a Monk conversion there. And he's managed to get it. So as soon as these archers here come in, they will do a lot of damage to the economy because he's already quite weak when it comes to it, if you see. Well, weak because he's been attacked. He's quite a good player overall, actually. As you can see, he's coming through here. And over here now. The Viper did push out to try and destroy this four base over here, but it has not happened. As you can see, upgraded to capped rams now. And a mangonel out there, so he will be able to kill off these plumed archers quite easily. Especially if he gets enough mangonels out. So down over here now, just trying to do that damage. Trying to get all that damage you can done. Over here now, we've got Lix over here with a dangerous looking amount of plumed archers and we'll be coming in to combat these eagles over here. If you can micro them correctly enough, you should do quite well. As you can see, these plumed archers over here doing lots of damage to these units here. However, this town center has gone up, so he will be forced to retreat out of there until he can get a ram or maybe even a trebuchet out. Alright, let's see what else I got going. Uh, Siege Ram going on now. Siege Ram, of course, being very, very useful when fighting the Mayans, as they will soak up damage from any of these Arch units as well as these castles. So if you can soak up that damage, there's less damage going to your army, which means you will have to replace less units. As we can see, quite good micro coming through there. 
and put, trying to put up a castle here. That's a very offensive position for a castle there. However, putting it up on this hill would have been probably a nicer idea if you could have done it, but you do what you can. See, so Seedram's going to be able to soak up a lot of damage here, and of course these trebuchets are not going to be of much use. Manganel is coming in now to counter this mass plumed archer. So being able to combat that with one unit like this is going to be extremely, extremely helpful. Of course, having seven range plumed archers being able to equal that, but of course they will be focusing their fire on more of this, and he may not have noticed the Manganel yet. So let's see if he gets any hit. Good hit there, good amount of splash damage, however it hasn't been taken down already, but it has given him the chance to move these eagles out here. As you can see, a hell of a lot of capped rams there, that looks like 13 seed rams, sorry. So they will do extreme damage, I would expect both these castles to be coming down, honestly, especially with these eagle warriors in here defending these rams. Should be able to take both these castles down, and if not, push in towards this town centre as well. So we can see over here that Lix has been pushing in quite offensively, as you can see by all these plumed archers here, and is pushing in very heavily into this base here. As you can see, chemistry has been done, all the major resources for the plumed archer has also been done. As you can see, going for this town center now, this castle here is going to come down, there's no doubt about it. And the castle is down. But we're moving up to this one here now, it may be a challenge because of all these plumed archers, however there is definitely enough frames there to take it down. As you can see, town center coming down now. That town center is down, so that's going to cost him a lot in economy wise. So he's not going to be able to use these farms until he gets another mill or town center up in that area, and that's going to cost him a lot of resources. Over this side here now, as you can see, slowly killing off all these eagle warriors. Eagle warriors, of course, being good against the archers, but if they are massed, archers like these ones here, there's not much you can really do against them. Definitely should be getting mangonels out though if you can. That would combat this quite well actually. If you could get a few mangonels out definitely be the way to go. So come back over here, moving on to this castle here, doing a lot of damage there, these eagles also pushing in. As you can see this castle trying to take out these eagles, and as you can see they're grouping their fire onto these siege ramps, but as you can see how damage resistant they are, each time they fire they're only losing about 50 hit points. And of course having 270 hit points that allows them to stand up to a lot. So moving on to the next castle now, and more eagles coming in from Bieber. So if he takes out this castle here, the supply of plumed archers will actually stop. Alright, over here Lix is bringing in sea drams to his opponent's base over here. Bringing in lots of plumed archers, so doing heaps of damage there. Town center of course only having 6 range, and these guys actually have 7 I believe, so they are able to take out town centers quite easily. Trying to bring a castle up here, whether or not it'll help, I, I can't say. Another offensive castle coming up here. These siege rams here, though, should just make it pretty easy to get through. As you can see, creating more and more siege rams. Of course, just to soak up that damage, really. That's what they're best at. As you can see, all these elite plumes coming down here to help out. However, leaving quite an opening here. All those plumes will be able to help out quite a bit. However, getting these eagles out will do a lot more damage to these rams than all these archers will do. As you can see, adding these guys on here, of course having no normal armor damage. Is it crush armor? I don't know, would it be crush? Because it's pierce, I think it would be crush armor honestly. But trying to bring another castle up quickly. As you can see this ram over here doing a lot of damage. And just trying, as you can see he's mining up all the gold in this area here, he can while he's here. Always do that, if you're in your opponent's area, mine up all their resources, it's the best way to go about it. It's better you having them than your opponent having them. As you can see over here, Lix is pushing right through this base here, not much that they can really do to stop him. As you can see, plumed archers everywhere, and Siege Ram's just headed towards this town centre. And there we go, that town centre is going to go down at the moment. And all these plumed archers here are just fighting off these plumed archers here, and these eagles over here are doing nothing. As you can see, putting up another town centre here, so if he wants to continue his economy, he can do it. However, all these plumed archers here, killing these guys off very rapidly, as you can see. Just going crazy on them. As you can see, town center there is down. This base has pretty much been gutted. As soon as he loses his town center, which he's up to now, this base is gone. There's no way he can reclaim it. Well, he can reclaim it, but it's not going to be doing anything nice. Alright, so over here, um, Luke's just sending Bieber some wood now, so he's able to get more of these rams out. More rams he can get out, more chance he has of taking down these two castles here. 
So as you can see, you're doing a wall off here, so those rams are unable to come straight in. However, at this point, Regan has been pushed out of his base. The Viper's base is in ruins, honestly. Lots has been lost. That town center there still hasn't come back up. Lots has been lost. And these two guys, Lix and Beaver, are, look at their bases. They are doing fine. Heaps of economy there. Heaps of economy over here. Complete map control of all of this area here. This area here being the only area they do not have control of. As you can see, they are pushing into this area now. And as you can see over here, Beaver is about to push into here. So basically, they have no chance. Eagles here. Especially if those villagers remain there where they are and they can just run straight in. Eagle's there now. So if he can just get this gate held open, like that, he can run in and knock out all these archers. If you can, always lock your gates. If your opponents get in like that, it's not good. It just destroys everything. So as you can see, bringing siege rams in now, may be able to soak up some of that damage from these plumed archers. And over this side here, about to break this gate down, and just more and more units being created and sent into attack here. The Viper resigning, Jordan resigning there, and Reagan resigning there. There is no point continuing the game when your opponent has so much map control, and they have so much population when compared. So you see Beaver on 195 population there at the end, while he was assaulting the space here. So taking out all those archers, taking out this gate, about to take out these castles. As you can see, lots of damage done. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.